What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been looking to a Reddit and I joined a subreddit called Airbnb Host. Man, there's a lot of good questions. Sometimes I don't even know how to answer them, but it's helped me to practice what would I do in this situation. And now I'm looking through Reddit and I see this five question I would love to answer for you. Some of them is based on my experience. So let's start the first one. How do you deal with guests subtly threatening to leave a bad review? if you don't give them a refund. I'm sure we have all had them. Does not matter how nice the property is. It starts with them ask for a discount before they even book. You tell them you don't offer any discount. Then they book and then they say nothing while staying there. But as soon as they leave, the place just run down. I have not left the review yet. But I wonder if there anything you could do for us because of the issue we face. Here are some of the steps to prevent you to get a bad review. So firstly, I would give them 5% discount. You know, someone, they love to read blog posts. They like to play with us. They love to ask. It does not hurt to ask, right? They like to ask discount. So I like to give them 5%. If they don't like the 5%, the play is not for you. Then you don't want to attract the foot asking discount. You don't want to attract that kind of guest. However, if they booking your place after they check in, the next day you should ask them, hey, how's it going? How's your staying? Is there anything that we can do for you? And they don't respond to you. Perfect. That's fine. Two, three hours later, if they don't text you back, you send them the text message straight to their phone number. Ask them again, is there anything we can do? How's your day? Just check up on you. If they don't respond to you and then they silent, they leave and they give you bad review. Well, you have a proof that, hey, I asked this guest if they need anything. They didn't say anything. They write a review, bad review for us. So that's intentional. So you can report to Airbnb to review this matters and show proof. I send him this hours that check up on this date. And then I send actual text message through their phone and they didn't respond. So this is like an intentional. It's bad for my business. You should take this off from my account. If Airbnb did not take off the review, the worst case scenario, you have to write the response to them. That's the last step we can do about it. It's not good. It's very unfair for the host like us have to deal with this kind of attitude with the guests. Airbnb will do the just it for you. You show them proof. You try your best to get this guest satisfied. But if they do this, it's unfair for the host like us. Second question, bedding question. I'm getting everything ready for my first Airbnb. I'm trying to figure it out the best way to go for bedding. Do you find a better to use color print bedding or white bedding and just bleach? In Airbnb, I know that's most homes using white duvet covers. But I'm nervous about turnover on those. Which brand are most durable? I like the look of most bedding more and it's easy to style but I'm wondering if it's practical. For all my Airbnb properties, we use the white colors because it's easy to bleach in my bed. They have four pillows, one sheet, one duvet covers, one mattress covers, and also box spring cover to prevent yourself from bad bugs. Now, the reason why we use duvet cover because the comforter is big, it's hard to dry, it's slow the process, it's hard to turn over with the cover, oh, so much easy. However, I found the solution to make your stuff dry fast. I'm using this ball right here. It's called wooden ball. So you throw six ball of this into your dryer. It's fast, it's magic. I really love this. And I'm shopping all my bedding through Amazon, Costco, Home Good. But if you want the product that I use, then there's a link below. There's a whole shopping list for my Airbnb. You can check it out. It's very worth it. Third question, do you make a minimum wage with an Airbnb? The thing is, lately, I'm afraid of losing my job and have this countryside house that I'm planning to turn into an Airbnb. Do I have a chance to make a living out of it? Listen, you can make a living through Airbnb because you can make more than the minimum wage. However, you do need to do a little bit research about your area. You should go to 
the website called Air DNA Match Visors and Key Data compared to all of the numbers to see if the number is make sense for you to make a living out of it but i'm pretty sure you can and second determine which market are you in are you in metro market national market or regional market but seem like you're in countryside so you are in this two market which is national market or regional market if you are in regional market it's easy for you to deal with the law they don't have a lot of restriction mostly tourists dependent though 100 percent if you want to know more about about this which market are you in which regulation you should looking for then there's a video right here make sure you check it out because I deep dive into those market why not give it a shot for Airbnb I turned my Airbnb at home to an Airbnb as well I have a little studio to rent it out definitely worth it to take a shot since the day I opened my Airbnb business I never want to look back it's amazing and I love it question number four smoking gas Guests leave window open during freezing weathers. Hi all, I have a guest check out about an hour ago. I always check house almost immediately. As I live close by, I noticed that smell like someone smoking blunt inside. Sure enough, they left behind weed, rolling tobaccos, and wraps. They also left a window open, I assume to air the place out. With the heat set at 70 degrees, currently 17 outside. On top of this, they have more guests stay while they only book for two people they didn't seem to go over our maximum capacity though all in all they did not tear the place up but they did leave the messy and definitely smell pretty bad inside how will you handle this situation beyond this just leave them a negative review if i report them how do i prove the issue of the smell here's the thing about the people who enter your airbnb without register like you know how many guests they just put two guests how would I handle this situation? I'll do like this. Close eye and open eyes. One close, one open. You have to be generous with the guests. Sometimes they're dishonest. That's fine. That's okay. Basically, what I do, every single room that I have, I have a fan towel. Every single room. Turn that towel fan on and open the window. Turn that thing blast for the max. Blow the air out and then spray with this. It's really helped. Some people tend to leave the evidence so you see the window you see the tobacco wrap you see all that take those pictures as evidence this guest is breaking the law if they leave the place mess and i have to clean like crazy then here's the evidence to show you that they smoking weed you cannot tell the smell but you can tell the evidence pictures everything you can report to airbnb this guest is violate our home rule what can we do about it or if they decide to leave your bedroom reveal yeah you have the evidence to provoke that here's the evidence as a proof but for me what would i do i would not leave them a review if you would like to then give them do not recommend for any other host for this guest give them one star review or something or two star question number five guests slam the door late at night we got some guests that have been with us for two weeks which is under that left to go i live in the same structure but soon are separate from one another and our bedroom is one far end of the house away from their entry door however they slam the door every time they come and go and it's loud and that disturb our sleep when they return home at night saying 1 a.m here are some of the steps you can do to prevent this happening again you should buy this door stoppers or this door stoppers it will help a lot write the rule list the rules say from 9 p.m to 7 a.m do not make any noise we are very sensitive with noise be respectful for the host the next step you should do is write a piece of paper and slap to the door right stamp into the door and tape it do not make a big noise from 9 p.m to 7 a.m and if they continue more noise then i think you should talk to them before doing all talking confront to the guests do all that stuff first then we talk to the guests i'm pretty sure people will follow the rule means your house your room all this question is very random but it's based on my experience that's how can 
I handle this situation? I just want to ask you this. Are you run with your Airbnb efficiently? If it's not, then I have five tools that I use for my Airbnb that I run automatic. Take away all my stress away. If you want to know those five tools that I use for my Airbnb, check the video right here. I love Airbnb. It's worth a shot. This five tools, ooh, changed my life. I have more time for myself.